So you're working on your art portfolio now. That's great. You've gathered your works. Maybe you've gone to National Portfolio Day or to an open house at a college or a university you're interested in, and you've gotten some feedback from the teachers. Excellent. Now what? Your next step is to figure out what's really strong and what are you going to keep? What do you still need to make for your portfolio? And then what can you improve in your portfolio? Next thing is, are you missing any skills? And that's the thing you want to find out right now. In the fall, you want to start improving the skills that are weak. So you need to get an assessment first to find out where you're weak so that you know what to focus on. You also want to find out what are your strengths and really make those really stand out, put them at the front of your portfolio. One of the most important things is to come up with really fantastic ideas. Yes, you need the skill and a range of skills for your chosen area, but you most of all need fantastic ideas. That's what makes you stand out. Every one of you is gonna have one that's really great every student that chooses to go into the creative arts has some great ideas in you and you want to pull those out make sure you're talking to some friends and some teachers some kind of mentor to help you know if that's the best you've got in you if you're not sure about what you have to improve in your portfolio or if your ideas are as strong as they could be you could reach out and ask for your free assessment from Port prep. You can even get scholarships this way. If you're curious about what do you need to improve, ask me. I'm happy to help. I can set you up with my associate Garth Laidlaw too, who specializes in animation and game design. He can show you where you need to work on your character design. So I really encourage you to get some help from somewhere. Talk to people in the profession. Ask professionals to look at your work. Go to the schools and ask them what's strong, what's not, what do you have to work on? That's your job right now. If you have to learn some more skills, we've got some ways to make it really affordable for you. We've got a lot of tutorial videos and we've got some study guides too. So that's one way you could learn to improve your skills in a really easy to use and affordable way. So ask me about it and I'll let you know what we've got. A lot of students who really want to make it into that top choice school, you know it's competitive and it's not easy. So it's a great idea to even at least get one session with myself or Garth. It's only 65 Canadian dollars to have a private lesson just for you to tell you what you need to work on and where you're really strong and how you could make it even stronger. You can do a lot in one hour. You could also ask for one of our art packages. You can get the starving artist package, the striving artist package, or the thriving artist package. Wouldn't you love to be a thriving artist? It is possible, you know and we can help you. You can click on the links for those and buy them right away off of Port Prep uh, with PayPal, or you can ask for just a, a custom mix for you and we'll put together a curriculum for you to help you build the skills you need and make a really powerful portfolio so you can get into your dream college. I know you can do it. I've seen so many students just make huge leaps and bounds. And it's always so exciting when they tell me they get their email that they got accepted and they, you know, they call me and they email me and they text me to tell me the awesome news that they got accepted. And I wanna hear that happening for you too. So reach out to me, info at portprep.com. I'm Karen, the admissions insider, and I'm called that because I know how to get you in. So please trust me, I want to help you. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.